Yeah, just seed is uh, certainly an area growing in interest. Um, over the last uh, 10 years, we've seen some excellent advancements in terms of technology associated with uh, discs, and this is creating renewed interest to the point where we're seeing um, in South Australia and Victoria sort of a 5 to 10 percent uptake, and um, parts of New South Wales and uh, the eastern states even higher again. So, so our growers are looking to diversify their cropping system and and uh, uh, progress from uh, the no-till uh, approach and in doing so discs is a, a new avenue so but that being said um, moving into discs is a fairly complex uh, area and brings lots of new issues that once weren't associated with the knife point system and one of those key issues is uh, uh, the use of pre-emergence herbicides and uh, in fact how we make them work uh, um, more safely and, and just as effectively as they had in the past so um, so this is bringing around a whole new area of uh, um, interest and uh, we're trying to delve into that through this GRDC project. Yeah, essentially there's a big array of different uh, disc systems out there and this uh, big array of systems is adding a new complexity to how they um, interact with herbicides because they differ um, strikingly in their ability to, to move, herb, uh, move soil and potentially move herbicide, hence uh, um, provide crop safety. Um, that aspect being said, we are delving into um, what facets of uh, particularly single discs is contributing potentially to crop damage and uh, essentially what we've found is what's happening at the front of the machine and, uh, seems to be more, far more important in terms of providing crop safety than perhaps what's happening at the rear of the machine. Um, and when we're talking about that area we're talking about potential for either moving the herbicide in advance of the opener um, and trying to alleviate some of the issues of herbicide entrainment, where the herbicide rides up the disc and falls back in the furrow. Um, but we've also been trying to investigate what's happening at the rear of the machine um, and uh, looking at uh, the function of the closing furrow wheel and the pressing devices and seeing whether or not they're contributing through dragging herbicide treated soil back into the furrow. Yeah, um, unfortunately, um, with our predicament that uh, uh, I would say our major weeds that we're chasing, i.e. annual ryegrass, we're placing huge impetus now on pre-emergence herbicides, so we're sort of fixed in, in using them. But unfortunately at this point in time, uh, given the lack of information we have on their behaviour under disc systems, um, that uh, we can't strongly make any uh, recommendations. So um, again, in part of this work is, is trying to develop a greater understanding of how they do behave so that potentially we can uh, guarantee or more safely suggest how they can be safely safely used with this so um, but as we speak at this point in time uh, many growers are having to use them at their own risk and it's just a function of the fact that they have no other option um, but to do so.